we're standing in the middle of the this year's rape crop it's in the poorest part of the field as you can see here that this is where there was a um, aftermath from the, the barley and you can see where well what had happened was we had a lot of um, regrowth of barley which swamped the see the, the seeds and the plants and I've had to spray this twice to take that out so the rest of the field's quite good but we've got about um, two hectares in the middle of the field, really heavy, horrible, in Norfolk we call it snotty land and uh, that was a problem when it was really dry and uh, now it's nice and wet, um, great for the oil seed rape, not very good for our drilling of cereals. Last year we were involved in the um, cabbage stem flea beetle trial and the one thing I did find out, apart from the fact that we had a lower yield in the trial, was that where the sheep had eaten the crop down the roots or the stems of the charlock were exposed and um, it killed it completely. Um, so this year, in fact on Monday, we're going to put the sheep into this little area here and graze this off. As you can see behind me, we've got a very bad patch of charlock and see if we can do the same again. Um, and now we're off to have our mushrooms. The other thing we did last year was we were um, we tried putting a, a cover crop in a standing crop of peas next to this field to see if we could attract the cabbage stem flea beetle. Um, unfortunately, although the um, seeds were spread nicely and they sat there, unfortunately it was so dry that they never came. The, the crop of peas was taken off and there was still nothing. And, and by the time we got the rain, we were ready to start putting wheat in. So uh, that's a bit of a failure. But next year, we will, or this coming season, we'll do the same because my wheat or my wheat field will be next to my next year's rape crop. So it'll be easy to, to uh, put it into a standing crop of wheat. Last year, um, we didn't have a very good year. It was our worst year for certainly the last seven years, um, struggled to do three and a half tonnes a hectare, whereas the previous year um, our crop was entered into the yen again and we did just over five tonnes a hectare. Um, I think it, some of it is cabbage stem flea beetle, the reason why we had poor yields, but that's not all of it. I think most of it was that we had a very dry um, autumn last year. The crop never got going and then the crop that did get going was hit with slugs and then the cabbage stem flea beetle came in and we just got down in some places to hardly any any um, any seeds um, so that was the problem been part of the uh, yen and uh, no the um syngenta all seed rape club for oh god a lot of years too many years now um uh, i think we joined originally because i was doing the precision drilling um, and uh, no i found the club really good i not many meetings have I missed. Um, each time there's always something interesting and um, yeah, every time we learn a little bit more, learn as much from other growers as you do from the people who are presenting whatever they're presenting. Um, yeah, good club.